The mountain loomed before me, shrouded in mist that clung to its ancient peaks like a spectral veil. I had embarked on this journey seeking solitude, a retreat from the cacophony of the world below. Little did I know, the mountain held secrets darker than the night that enveloped its slopes. As I ascended, the air grew thin, and an eerie silence settled around me. The crunch of my boots on the rocky path echoed in the stillness. The moon cast long shadows, playing tricks on my senses. A whisper of wind carried faint, indistinct voices that seemed to resonate from the very rocks beneath my feet. In the heart of the mountain, a dilapidated cabin emerged from the mist, its windows like vacant eyes staring into the abyss. A strange compulsion drew me closer, the creaking of the door echoing through the desolate landscape as it swung open with a ghostly groan. Inside, the air was heavy with the scent of decay, and the flickering candlelight revealed a room frozen in time. The walls bore witness to the passage of years, adorned with tattered tapestries that seemed to writhe with unseen movement. A faded portrait hung crookedly, the eyes of the long-forgotten subject following my every move. An ancient journal lay open on a dust-laden table, its pages filled with the ramblings of a mind consumed by a growing madness. As I read the entries, a sinister truth unfolded. The cabin's former inhabitant, driven to isolation by a malevolent force that lurked within the mountain, chronicled the descent into darkness. Unearthly whispers tormented their every waking moment, urging them to unearth an accursed secret hidden deep within the mountain's bowels. Compelled by a morbid curiosity, I ventured further into the cabin, discovering a trapdoor concealed beneath a worn rug. The pull of the unknown drew me downward into a labyrinthine network of tunnels that seemed to twist and coil like the innards of some ancient, eldritch beast. The whispers intensified, forming a dissonant chorus that reverberated through the tunnels. Shadows danced on the walls, taking shape and contorting into grotesque figures. My heart raced as the oppressive weight of the mountain pressed down on me, the very air thick with malevolence. In the bowels of the mountain, I uncovered an ancient chamber bathed in an otherworldly glow. A grotesque altar stood at its center, adorned with symbols that seemed to writhe with a life of their own. Unearthly whispers crescendoed into anguished screams as I realized the horrifying truth the mountain was a vessel for an ancient, malevolent entity that hungered for the souls of the living. Desperation clawed at my chest as I stumbled backward, the walls of the chamber closing in around me. The air turned frigid, and the ethereal glow of the symbols intensified. I could feel the malevolence coalescing, a presence that transcended the bounds of the mortal realm. As I fled the accursed mountain, the haunting whispers pursued me, echoing in the recesses of my mind. The mountain, once a sanctuary, had become a prison of the damned, and as I descended its slopes, I couldn't shake the feeling that something unholy lingered, a specter forever bound to the desolate peak, whispering its malevolent secrets to any unfortunate soul who dared to seek solace on its haunted slopes.